Today, let's talk a little bit about lighting ratios. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. That's not better in my head. I was watching a video of another photographer the other day that was doing some studio lighting, and somebody asked him the question about what his lighting ratio was. And this photographer didn't seem to understand the question and said that the settings on his light was irrelevant to what they were doing. What the other person was asking, however, wasn't what power setting their lights uh, happened to be. It was the difference between the light and dark areas in terms of stops. And that is what lighting ratios is in reference to. For example, I have a, of course, my main light right here. I have a smaller light right next to me. So let me turn that on. There we go. And I want to take my light meter. I'm going to read what this light says right from my uh, position of my face. Okay, so it's telling me f4 at a 60th of a second. Let's change that to 30th at f5.6. Now I'm going to read this one from this side. All right, that is 15th of a second at 5.6. So I'm going to brighten a little bit. Almost there. And now we should be, there we go, 30th at 5.6. So I have equal amount of light on both sides of my face. That is a lighting ratio of one to one. So equal light both sides. There is no stop between uh, the two lights in terms of quality or brightness. So I'll get an even lit um, exposure. A one to two ratio means I am getting uh, half the amount of light on the shadow side versus the lit side. So half the light means one stop difference. So I am looking for a reading, still 5.6 at a 30th, but over here, 5.6 at 15th of a second. So let's turn this down and get that. Let me turn this around so I can see it too. Almost, there we go. Okay, now, still fairly bright, but not as bright as that. This is a one stop difference. <clears throat> so f5.6 at a 15th of a second, 5.6 at a 30th. So a one to two ratio, one stop, half the light, one to two. Now let's do a one to four. One to four would be a quarter of the light. Therefore, that would be a two stop difference between bright and shadow. So let's measure that. By the way, there we go. Now I have a two stop difference between this side and that side. Let's go to one to eight, eight of a stop. There we go much darker, one to eight. So uh, that's a three stop difference, um, eighth of the amount of light. So three stops. And then we can go even further. Um, it'd be one to 16, that would be a four stop difference. So now let's do a four stop. Somewhere in here I can get it, maybe. Ooh, that was tough. I'm just about reached the limit of what this light will do. There we go. So this is barely on, and now I'm getting a 
five stop difference between the two and four stop, no, four stop difference, four stop difference. So now I'm getting a four stop difference between my key light and my other side. Uh, in fact, I doubt there's even much difference. Yeah, it's basically off. So that is a lighting ratio. So it's in reference to how much shadow versus light you have in uh, a lighting situation. Um, why in ratios? I have no idea. I don't know the history behind it. But an easy way to remember is just like stops, one stop is half the light, two stops is a quarter, three stops is an eighth, four stops is a sixteenth, and so on. Um, four stops is basically uh, no light on the other side at all. That's going to give you the deepest shadow. You can see here in this shadow part of my face, there's virtually no information. It's going to be four stops underexposed, therefore basically black. But that's a lighting ratio. You can get anywhere in between as you like, but that is a great way to understand when reading about lighting or trying to discuss it with other photographers to kind of understand the same lingo and um, method of um, controlling your light. So just a quick tip there, lighting ratio uh, and it's between two different lights. So if you want a key light, uh, of course that's going to be your main setting, and then maybe a hair light would be a stop brighter. So you would have, instead of a one to one ratio, you might have a two to one. That is, your key light is half a stop behind your hair light. On this side, I just had a fill light that was one to two or one to three. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.